Temple School District says it's needed a math teacher for three years. Another has an opening and got zero applications. Bottom line, it's our kids who suffer for it. And Denver 7's Jackie Crea looks at how our state is dealing with a major teacher shortage. Put them into your binder clips and close it up. It's no secret that teachers are not making enough money. Brenna Morris teaches in a rural part of Colorado. So I've seen a huge decline as far as the funding we get from the state. Um, and obviously that affects our salaries. That could be why state education officials say Colorado is in crisis. The state is short 3,000 teachers. And one third of teachers are expected to retire in the next few years. New teachers aren't exactly lining up. A starting salary can be as low as $25,000 a year. Five years ago, we used to have a couple hundred teachers apply for a position, in some cases like an elementary position. Now we're down to the 30s or 40s. New legislation requires officials to meet with teachers and the community to hear why. Hiring, retention, promotion, support. Um, how they've been impacted by salary compensation. Not to mention the cost of living in the Denver Metro and other parts of Colorado. While teachers are obviously the ones feeling the loss in funding, so do the students, and that deserves everyone's attention. We're teaching the future. I mean, if we're not taking care of the students, then we're not taking care of our future doctors, our future lawyers, our future food service people. There's another meeting tomorrow afternoon, and one of the solutions mentioned changed tax laws so there's more money to invest in schools. Easier said than done. And another solution, helping new teachers with student loan debt. I'm live tonight, Jackie Crea, Denver 7. Thank you, Jackie.